Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to continue our cross-site scripting but this time we are on the stored cross-site scripting and as I have explained before that whatever scripts we inject here they would be permanent stored in the form of comments and anytime a visitor comes up the scripts would be executed on every visit. So for example let me start with the with the HTML injections like I can give any name like test and the matter I want to show in the bolded text sign guest book it shows the name and the normal text and the message in the bolded text so same way we could also paste something into a green color hi and it prints something in the green color. So same way we could also generate a normal script to generate a pop-up. And the pop-up generates up. So it doesn't show the script here because it doesn't take it as a normal text, it take it as a script, so it's not showing it here. So if I go to any other page and go back on the stored, Every time I come back to this page, the script would be executed because it's permanently stored. So don't think that we can just only generate the pop-ups from the JavaScript and that's what it's all about. No, we have so many types of uh, scripts as I have shown you in the in the first video of the JavaScript introduction and the cross-site scripting. There I have shown you that we can, uh, you know, do the, we can steal the cookies with it. We can, uh, we can see the time we can also print out the time zone, we could perform the multiplications, we can 2 plus 2, a lot of things, every type of function can be done. But a pop-up script is very small and uh, basic to understand on an initial level, so that's why I'm just using a single script. But I will also show you how we can also use this script to, to fetch the cookies of the, of the user even. So if I go back to reflected and I try this script, to generate the alert but this time of a cookie and it shows me my cookie so if we have our cookie editor session ID and we can st see the same value is being here so like this way we could steal the cookies of the customers coming on the pages and we can use their sessions to log in without a username and password in our SQL injection series I have shown you that if you have the cookie value of some user you can go to dvwa and you can paste and you can replace this cookie with your own cookie and you'll see that you're logged in with the admin without entering any username and password so i'll also show you that way on the stored even okay can you see it again got so cookie and i paste here and two pop-ups come up uh, so if I go to CSRF maybe and again go back to stored, the so first pop-up, then the second pop-up. But right now, this cookie, it's our own cookie. We come to this page and this one is printed to us. If any other person comes on this page, his own cookie would be shown to himself even. So everyone will see their own cookies, but we want to see someone else's cookies. We want to steal other people's cookies. We do not want to see our own cookie. So that's what I'll show you in the in the another couple of videos that how we could do that even. But here we can just see that what type of impact we could perform with the stored injections rather than reflected. So stored are the ones which are permanently stored here. So let's increase the level to medium. But before that we could also check the source code that why it's uh, performing very well. As you can see it takes the message and it just uh, deletes any extra spaces from the beginning and the end and it just summits to the message box so there is no restriction of the script tags of deleting or something like that that's why it works very well so we could also compare other levels and if we see the medium one so script CAG is replaced with the empty tags so it actually deletes the script so let's go back to security medium The level is medium now if we go to okay stored 
but uh, let's clear out all these messages which doesn't look good it, so we will not get to know that uh, our previous uh, scripts are working or the new ones so you can go to setup or reset database reset So it's everything is being cleared. So if we go to stored, now all the commands are being cleared. Now let's try with the hi and we give our same cookie to generate a pop-up with a, not just a message but to print out all the cookie. It, it do not work because of the script tag. But as we have done before, we can capitalize our script tag and then let's see it still do not work let's change a little bit maybe r small and here r small even copy sign it still doesn't work so let's see the view page source so here we can see that the mainly uh, the restrictions are there on the name not on the message basically on message it's using add slashes as we have seen in the in the SQL injection that it bypass all of our strings from the slashes but on the name we can see it's using just deleting the script tag so what we have to do is rather than in the message box we should use the name section to inject our query and here we can see uh, it have a limitation that we cannot type long things so I right click inspect element and maximum length is uh, 10 character I can maybe make it 50 and now we can type long things as well so here I type my script and hello in the message box and it works so in this section we have seen that we can also uh, change the maximum length of characters to type in a section even and here you can see the name section is empty because it's taking it as a script and we could also choose out that which is the mainly section in which we have to inject even so you could try because the source code option would not be visible in the realistic website so you can try in both of them and in any of them could it could be working by just changing into the uh, some capitalize or the small characters so let's go back to the security and uh, we could make it high in the level and uh, we'll also clear out the database go to stored it's empty so here we will also go back to the source code and here we can see that it's still using the name uh, input parameter and all the scripts are with any way it's being blocked so it's better that what we can do is we can use some another HTML tags to give our input like a image tag in which we can generate a pop-up or we can also use a body tag oh, again there is a restriction I could right click over it and maximum length I can give it 50 you just right click inspect element it comes up here like this way you double click and change the value now I can paste the line message anything and sign in it comes up let me try the another payload as well so here I increase the value and in the message section anything and it still generates the pop-up so the point is there are many types of JavaScript you could go on the Google and type cross-site scripting payloads and you'll see hundreds of scripts like this way through which you could perform all your cross-site scripting attacks. In the next future videos, I'll show you that apart from generating a, a pop-up or apart from generating a pop-up with a cookie, there are so many other things, other type of JavaScripts available through which we could do a lot more bigger impacts as well we will see in the next future videos and I'll also show you some more tags in which we could use our JavaScripts to bypass the filters if these specific tags are also blocked so let me show you one more
So I have uh, this cross-site scripting payloads even, which I'll upload in your drive link. And if I add it, and you can use like image tag to generate a pop-up for the cookie. You can use body tag, you can uh, capital script, small script, iframe even tag, you can. <laughs> so there are hundreds of tags basically which you could use to generate, uh, to perform your Java scripts and you can remove the restrictions because as many type of restrictions you will never see into a specific website and this would help you a lot to perform it. But this document is mainly, uh, the script is same that you're just generating a pop-up of cookie, 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 but this is primarily to bypass the restrictions, the filters. But you also need to focus on some different types of JavaScripts as well through which we can do some another things rather than only the cookie, which I'll show you in the next videos. So I hope you liked the video and thank you for watching.